I'm going to install this new Ecobee Smart Thermostat Premium to replace my Ecobee Smart Thermostat that I've had in my house for about a year and a half. Ecobee did send me this to do a follow-up on my install video that I filmed when I got my house. I'm going to tell you all the new features of the new Ecobee Smart Thermostat Premium, tell you how good everything worked out with my Ecobee Smart Thermostat over the last year and a half, and then we'll install it and see how easy it all is. And then you can follow up in the comments below and I'll answer any questions you have with long-term use. So first thing, it has a 50% larger display than the previous thermostat. It's got metal on the side. It has a slightly different uh, user experience now. It has an air quality score now. It has Siri and Alexa instead of just Alexa. And my favorite feature is that it has a smoke alarm detector. So I guess what it's going to do is when it hears a smoke alarm going off, it'll alert you to your phone because right now with my phone, It'll send me alerts if my baby's room gets too hot or too cold. And I pretty much base my whole system around making sure my baby's room is the perfect temperature. And I have the Ecobee camera set up in baby monitor mode. And that has been working great to keep an eye on her at night and everything. We do the subscription. I think it's like seven or eight bucks a month for the one camera setup. And you need that subscription to use the smoke alarm mode too. And the Smart Thermostat Premium now has radar built into the thing to detect when people are home or not. And the Smart Thermostat Premium also comes with one of the sensors and I've got a bunch of those in the house spread out in different rooms. And it is really good to know how the weight of the temperature is balanced in your house. I've got it pretty much all set up. I've been using that to help adjust the dampers and like making sure my basement's not freezing just so that I can get the upstairs room cold. Like everything is very, very balanced thanks to the sensors. And then you can also set it up so it knows what room you're walking in and out of to make sure those rooms are prioritized. And also when you're leaving the house to set it up so that it's not just blasting AC or something when you're not home and they can detect when you're on your way home and it'll know to like kick it in to save more energy too. And it could be also has window sensors and now there's a mode where if a window is open, you can set it up that if a window is open for more than five minutes, it'll turn off the system so you're also not wasting heat when cold air is coming inside, like when you're meaning to open everything up. So that's pretty cool too. So this comes with the stickers and everything to set it up, just like I did with the last one. I'm hoping that this is pretty much just a plug and play with all of the last hardware and I don't actually need to drill any more stuff into the wall, but this looks different. So I think I might actually have to. Oh, this is cool. So the smart sensor now comes with this little kind of thing that you can click on and then there's an adhesive so you can stick it to a wall, which is good because it's hard to always find a spot to rest it against a shelf or something. And it still comes with the little cone so that you can mount it on a table. And then just like last time, the best install instructions are on the Ecobee YouTube page and on their website. So check all of that out to make sure it's an easy install. It was super easy for me to do last time considering I have no experience with homes or HVAC stuff when I did install it. And for pricing, the Smart Thermostat Premium is $329.99 Canadian from the Ecobead website or US, it's $249.99. And if you get the Smart Thermostat Enhanced instead of Premium, that is $189.99 US dollars. And then install the Ecobee 3 Lite for $149.99 US dollars. First thing we're gonna do is check to see that they're about the same size. So that's cool. And then next I need to pop this off and I will see that the mounting harness or the mounting thing is different than the new one, but it's still just two screws at the top and bottom. And I think they line up, they might not line up. So I might have to redrill. but first I need to turn off the HVAC system at the breaker. All right, so it's off. Then I'm gonna take a photo of everything so that in case I screw anything up, it's all on record. So with the screws out, it looks like we didn't actually put it into a plug in the wall. We just drilled it right into the wall. So push down on all of these and remove the wires. All right, and then when comparing it to the new one, the holes are slightly different. So I'm gonna to have to figure that out.
Okay, if I move it down here, I'll actually not need to cover up any of the paint. So I'm just gonna drill new holes in. And with those new holes, everything should be covered up nicely. Not gonna see any of this broken stuff underneath. So let's reconnect the wires to the same ones that we had them before. We'll check our phone for that diagram and it should be good to go. Red goes to RC, so let's start with that. Okay, moment of truth. Oh wait, I have to turn the breaker back on. Okay, with the breaker back on, it's moment of truth time. Hi. Perfect. Yuri the wiring genius Tereshin. Let's get started. I am a homeowner. Next. Yes, only RC is connected. I think RC is connected. Let me check my photos. Next. Correct. No, Celsius, furnace, thermostat, my Ecobee, pair smart sensor. So here's the new one, uh, retry. And I can always set them up through the Ecobee app. They're smart sensor, perfect. Uh, yeah, this one will be set for all and I'm going to use this adhesive attachment to set it up in my daughter's room on the wall So that she doesn't knock it off any counters anymore Okay, we got some sweet new graphics. I'm really liking that but I should probably Ooh, Yes So now I'm removing my old eco B And I'm gonna add a new eco B add device Thermostat, yes, it's installed. How to find the code. Uh, registration, there we go. All right, and for our tutorial, let's see what we got. Perfect. Click to confirm. Oh, that was easy. Set it to cool. Set the temperature to 22. And then let's connect the rest of the smart sensors. So with all this set up now, I guess all we need to do is enable Siri or Alexa calibrate our indoor air quality thing and make sure we have all of our sensors going. Right now we only have one of them because it's a new one so I need to connect all my other sensors back to this new thermostat. So with it all set up, everything has been working great. Going through the menus is very easy. Uh, uh, my air quality is pretty good right now but it was pretty bad when I was cooking so it was a good reminder to open up the window. We can click here to see our weather which is nice. And the next thing I need to test out is the smoke alarm detector. So we're at the smoke detector. We're going to see how long it takes for it to set off a notification. Oh, so we got the notification. The smoke alarm tester doesn't stay on for more than 30 seconds, which makes it tricky to test out. But it seemed like within 30 seconds, we got the notification to our phone. So that works. Yesterday I got the notification when I tested it out even sooner. So that's good. That's the main thing I want from my new Ecobee. And then I just realized that it was the baby monitor that noticed the smoke alarm, which is even farther than the Ecobee. So that's good to know that it can hear it from so far away. And then the app works just as well as it did before. Got our camera right there. Our temperature, we can go through all our settings. We can turn it on and off the light. And then with this, we can go, Alexa, 
Play Sirius XM 90s on 9. 90s on 9 from Sirius XM. So then I guess the final question is, is it a worth it upgrade over this other Ecobee? Uh, I don't think you need to upgrade because this one is actually fantastic. But having the smoke alarm detector on this is really nice. I think they've got an improved speaker back there and the bigger screen is nice. So if you do like updating your tech, I would highly recommend it. If you don't have an Ecobee at all, I would highly recommend it. And if you have one of these older Ecobees, I would only half recommend it because I was super happy with this one the whole time too. So I hope you guys like my little review and install of this Ecobee Smart Thermostat Premium and how well the old Ecobee Smart Thermostat worked. I can't believe that people don't all have smart room sensors throughout their house on everybody's HVAC systems. Being able to prioritize my house to my baby's room is like the most important thing. And now that there's a smoke alarm detector detector, it's totally perfect. And feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I'll be answering questions on long-term use forever. I'll answer all the comments always. Thanks everyone. Good job, Ecobee.